Welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is the third time I'm recording this intro. For the love of God, I need this to turn out right. Why do I have... Okay. Right. Well, not today. I actually started, but then I left it. So 11 is the last page I have with annotation. But I am going to read Sally Rooney's Normal People. And I'm excited. I'm excited. This is the second part of the me versus that sad book series so let's see if this one makes me cry that's like the objective of this video is making me cry and also if you didn't know my therapist asked me to read this book this summer well he asked me to watch the show but i'm not going to watch the show till i've read the book i don't know what that says about me most therapists ask them to read normal people also i'm excited because sally rooney i feel like she is such a hit or miss and I do want to like her. I know that people usually say that they don't vibe with her writing, but I, I want to. I really want to. I will keep this short. I have to go already. So I will update you guys. And I haven't read a single word today. So what I think I'm gonna do is read like a couple of pages and then stuck the pen in there and leave it for tomorrow. So that's the plan because I really need to sleep. Tomorrow I have a long day ahead of me. Why do I look so wide? In a couple of days and I actually haven't read a single word of this. Maybe I should get back to it because I'm still on page 11. This is as far as I get. So I'm going to start this now. Even though I don't have much time right now because I have to go out in about an hour. But just to start reading this. since I last updated you but I'm still reading it. so here it goes I'm already 30% in and right now I'm looking forward to reading again which uh, it's great because actually the first 13% or so was excruciating I couldn't get myself to read and that was an issue i was proceeding very 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 slow but i think i'm past that point i am um, already have some opinions here that i think i can share without being spoiled i feel like this book is trying to include too many things for what it is what i mean by that is in that book there are kind of factual criticism towards popularity hierarchy in school or classism even sometimes towards misogyny and that's great, but I feel like for what that book is, it is too much. In the sense of, they are trying these two people to carry everything that's wrong. I feel like they are putting too much into these two people instead of relying on side characters, which would be acceptable. I also kind of have a slight problem with the fact that I have to think. So yeah, the thing is, this book doesn't really test directly like this is bad they just expose the situation expose the situation and you have to get your conclusions and all that out of it and i feel like for me i prefer to be spoon fed in that sense like in the sense that i prefer for people to tell me this is wrong and then i would think myself about challenging that statement or not but these people are saying this is what it is and you have to think oh, okay this is wrong 
that's that's not kind of my favorite thing i want to finish this book in two days which may be ambitious but i have to record the august wrap up in two days and i really want to at least talk about it in that wrap up so let's see right now i have to do a couple of things so i will go back to reading at night Bye. and I think we should talk about how frustrating this vlog is starting to be um, I mean maybe not for you because you're watching this all at the same time but keep in mind that I've been reading this book at least since the 25th of August and we're still here I mean it's been more than 10 days and we are still here and it's a 260 page book I mean it's not even a long book but I feel like since I'm back in my home and all that I haven't had a lot of time to read because my friends ask me to go out with them and that's normal but I feel as if I don't have an excuse not to read and I don't know I don't feel good with that mentality but yeah the thing is my brain is thinking well, you don't have school, so why aren't you reading? And I'm not reading because I'm outside with friends and you're in the good summer weather. We are on page 200, so maybe I could finish this today. It's only this thing. So I think we could. So my intention is to maybe at night read and let's see if I can read the part where I only have like around 50 pages left, 40. And then I'm going to blog like real time, not real time because that would be like too long, but I put a clip of me reading the final part of this book and let's see if I cry because re just let's remember the objective of this is making me cry and it hasn't yet. So I haven't cried, but right now I have to edit uh, my September TBR video to post it today at 2 a.m. and 36 of this book which means that we only have uh, 30 pages to go and I want to read this I want to finish this already and post this video probably at night today or tomorrow so we are going to read it right now so I will record myself so that uh, if I cry you can see that I cried but I haven't cried yet. I'm going to finish this book right now. To set the mood, we have Step Boher's Normal People playlist. And I mean, I don't know if I will cry with this. But you can't say I'm not crying. I'm trying to cry. Well, I don't know if I will, but I'm crying at least. So, I'm going to start reading now. And I hope to finish this soon. <laughs> already because I think I've been recording this video for more than 15 days and I literally need to finish this and post it already because this is madness 
This is Madness because it's a 260 page book. I don't know what took me so long to read. So let's start. First of all, I want to acknowledge that obviously this is not the normal contemporary romance book. It's I think a coming of age story or whatever. I don't care. The thing is, it's more dense than your average romance book. So if you're going to read this, take that into account because yeah, you have the romance aspects of this, but it still is a bit dense. Now, onto my opinions. First of all, I have to say that I loved the, the writing style. The writing style was so beautiful. I think that everything flowed super, super, super well. And also, if you didn't know, like up to the 70% point of the book, I was enjoying it a lot, maybe because they were more in an academic environment and so I found that more relatable since I'm still a student. But the last chapters, I found them difficult to keep being into them and understanding what was happening because in this book, when the chapters are divided by time frame, so for example, you get one chapter and then a week later, and then three weeks later and so on and so forth but the last chapters were literally seven months later and so I it I find it difficult to keep up with all the updates that they were coming all at once like they are suddenly living together they are not living together anymore they are, if you're going to read this book also you're going to be have this feeling of oh well this is a short story book right no well, it's not but I did feel like it was a compilation of short stories because you had all these chapters where, in theory, there are happening different things in all of them, but they are still the same characters. So yeah, you will get the, that it's a short story collection feeling, but I enjoyed it, so that's not so bad. And the last thing I have to say about this is that, um, I think I mentioned it previously, but at this point, I don't know what I mentioned, I don't know why they didn't. So the last part I want to say about this is that I feel like they were putting too much things into I'm not too many characters. What I mean by this is that, yeah, the two main characters were developed and had all these issues, but all the rest of the characters in these books were underdeveloped and underwhelming. So for example, all the boyfriends Marianne has, you just know them by name, but you don't really know them in any sense and they play some important part and on the other hand Marianne and Connell are all the time suffering from these society societal issues like all of them classism abuse SA they are the ones suffering everything and you don't have any other character to support them that is actually a good character that's what I thought reading the book I don't know, tell me what you actually thought because I think that this book is a book that is meant to be discussed in some way like I would love to have a friend that has already read this book so that we can talk about the specific parts because for example I remember that I like had annotated things and actually put like here for example Like I literally, I literally wrote, need to come back sometimes to think, sometime to think about it, which I need to because I want to think about that and I would love to discuss that passage with someone else. My advice is, if you're going to read this book, don't read it alone. That I think that the experience would be much better if you are reading it with someone else. So finally, we are finishing this vlog. I hope you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't so that my friends will let me buy more books and I hope to see you soon. Bye!